What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'll show you how to get this set I'm wearing plus the helmet, as well as a complete other set and a holy ash of war. I'll show you how to get to Oriza's hero's grave and how to get through it, as well as show you how to take down the two crucible knights you'll have to face to get this set. This is probably one of the worst hero's grave I've ever done. Honestly, it's so freaking confusing, but I'll do my best to explain, show you the route you need to take that hopefully will make this as painless as possible. But honestly, getting it through this hero's grave is probably the easiest part. The boss fight is actually the hardest part, but I'll show you how you can take them down easily a bit later. So Horizon's Hero's Grave is located in the Altus Plateau. You want to take the Side of Grace right here, Outer Wall Battleground. We're gonna go through here, near the Minor Earth Tree. Take this road to the left here and go all the way down to this building and that's where the Hero's Grave is located. So you guys can follow me if you want. So once you've ridden the elevator down and you've taken the side of grace down here, you'll see a fog gate right in front of you. You will need to spin two stone swords to open this. There is a golden epitaph sword down there, but be careful because basilisk will be waiting for you on the right. So this is the sword and it requires faith to use it. So this hero's grave can be pretty nerve-wracking because there will be chariots you need to avoid, a lot of them, and they kill you in one shot if you mess up. So fun, right? <laughs> but just follow along and you should be fine. I'm gonna show you how to destroy them because we'll need to do that to get to the boss fight. So first off you want to run your butt off and you're gonna go in the crevice on the left here. Wait until he goes by, run away right as he leaves. Do not waste time. Now you're gonna want to roll down here. There will be a few basilisks you need to fight. So what? What is Spider-Man bullcrap are you doing, brother? I'm just gonna booty stomp him. Oh gosh, oh gosh. That was stupid. Alright, anyways. Maybe I should have changed my Ash of War. 
Oh well. There will be one to the left as well, but I want to take this one out first. Oops, out of juice. You know, it would be kind of cute if uh, they weren't so annoying to fight. So there's one waiting for you here as well, because why not? Oh my gosh, I missed him. Okay, well, lightning it is. Well, that worked. Now, this part is a bit tricky, but be careful if you're standing here. Don't stand too close because this guy on the right here will run you over. So all you need to do is wait for the right moment. And so our goal is to go to the little safe spot over there on the left. So once this guy goes, you go. Now you switch lane. And you go here. There will be a skeleton, so be careful. Roll as you go in. And then you can kill him. Now this is probably the most annoying part. Because now they switch up and they only... They don't go all the way up. They just stop there. So we're gonna follow this one down. Switch lanes. Switch lanes again. And you want to go exactly here or you'll get hit by this one when he turns around. Now we're going to drop down right here get right on his body and just drop if you're not used to this stuff try uh, crouching down and point your camera all the way down so you can see where you're going just go slowly and you'll be fine i was lucky i was uh, classically trained at the academy of bloodborne so just to make your way through here we're gonna drop onto this one. The trick is really to align your character in the right place and then drop down. Now we're gonna drop down again. This is the longest drop, so you have to be really careful. Make sure you're well aligned and then just drop. Push your thumbstick forward lightly, like don't, don't go super fast. Now this guy somehow will not hit, hit you, which is a good thing, but uh, you still want to take a lot after. We're gonna take this ladder here. Now there's going to be one more thing we need to do. And then we'll be able to destroy all the chariots. Now this is just the guy above us spawning. Now what we want to do is actually go above us. So wait until he goes down and then you want to go right away, like you don't have a lot of uh, of time and I messed up. Alright, go directly to the right. Now you want to hit this thing. And once you hit it, once we go back to the beginning, this will destroy all the three, the three chariots, sorry. And this is the key to being able to get to the boss. So we can do this the easy way or the hard way. We can just die here and come get our stuff later when all the chariots are destroyed. Or we can try to make it. So now we have to time the fire with the chariots passing by. So let's see if we can do it. Try to head straight to the left. Drop down here, there will be a skeleton. Oh, that I completely missed. What the? Again, don't go too far out because that chariot will just uh, destroy you. I don't actually know if there's a way to get down here before he does so we can be safe. But if we die, it doesn't matter because as I said, it's the easiest way. Yeah, I'm getting crushed. Yep. And once you spawn back here, we have to go through this again. And he's still gonna be here, so be careful. They're only gonna collide when we get to that ramp 
the double ramp with the two chariots. Now I highly suggest that you fight the basilisks because if you try to run through this you might uh, get assaulted by like three of them at once and it's pretty hard to deal with them. with the lag in here. So as you see, they have all collided. All three of them are gone. And you get the Ash of War, Holy Ground, Tree Sentinel, Set. So now you're free to get everything that you might have missed and just pick up all the items. Now don't worry, these guys won't spawn anymore. The boss fight is just ahead of us. Where the third chariot was. Now there might be a skeleton here, but we're just gonna ignore him. Now for this boss fight. It's pretty difficult and I highly suggest that you use a summon for this. Now I've noticed that frostbite actually worked pretty well on these guys so if you have frost on your blades or your weapons this will help you a lot. I did this fight with no summons and without using hoarfrost stomp because I wanted to show you guys the openings you can get and when you can punish them so hopefully just watching it will be really helpful to you. But what makes this fight really hard is that they're both super aggressive. They will both charge you at the same time but you want to take care of the spear guy first because he is the easiest to deal with he will run at you and poke you and this is a bit delayed so we have to roll late then he'll do another swing and then his third swing you can hit him while he winds up then you dodge and then you can hit up after as well when he gets to 50 percent health or less you will have this lunging move kind of like he's trying to impale you with a dagger or something and again it's a bit delayed so you want to roll late but if you time it well you can get a few good hits in he'll also do a long range attack when he's spinning up his spear it looks like he's going to throw it into the ground but actually it goes forward and it's super long range so be on the lookout for that and dodge it to the left once he's down you'll have to take care of the shield guy and he's honestly the worst. He will not let you heal, he will not let you breathe. You have to dodge the entire time, pretty much. Now the easiest thing to dodge that he does is the ground stomp into a three hit combo. You'll be able to get at least two or three hits in after that. Now there's another attack he does where he charges his sword on the ground and then he pulls it up. You have to dodge very late and then he'll hit you once more. So you have to dodge that as well. Once you get him down to 50% or less, you will add a really quick tailspin to that combo. The other combo that he does that is extremely annoying is for hits. And if you dodge three of the hits and then you run away, he'll do a lunging attack. It seems like his sword is 20 foot long. It will just hit you out of nowhere. And again, that attack is delayed. You want to roll late and you want to roll to the right. So I hope my explanation and walkthrough helped you get through this. I hope you're able to get both of these sets because they're pretty freaking awesome. And in my opinion, the Crucible Axe set is one of the best heavy armor ones in the game. So let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon.